the end of October, which means it is time dun, 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 for my October favorites. So I already know this video is gonna be really long, so let's hop on into it. So starting with makeup, I have some favorite makeup brushes, and these are from a new collection from Sigma. I actually got these early because I did a meetup in Minnesota at the Sigma store. So fun, if you wanna see that video, I'll have that link down below as well. But this is part of their advanced artistry collection, and this is like the perfect blending kit. So basically, all the brushes that are in this kit are just perfect for blending. You know when you look at people like on Pinterest or Tumblr and you just see their makeup and it's like so like soft and diffused and smoky and looks so pretty and you're like, why can't I achieve that? It's because you need this brush set. It's literally amazing. I also have a 10% off coupon code in the down bar, so check that out. Megan brush hands. So my next makeup favorite is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and everyone talks about it's like crazy. But the difference of this versus like mineralized skin finishes by MAC or something like that is it's not glittery. Like it's not chunky or like, I wouldn't even call it shimmery, it just glows. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm wearing it now just like on my cheekbones and it gives you a really nice natural glow. Like, oh, I was born this fresh face and didn't use any product to achieve it. Oh, makes your face look like a brand new day. This next beauty product is actually by a YouTuber. You may know her. She's like semi-famous, like a little bit famous, Michelle Fong. So she came out with her makeup line and this is the Contour and Highlight Stick in Light. And, and Heart, when we were in New York, actually recommended me to get this from Nat's Heart. And she was like, no, you need this. This is amazing. You have to get it. So I picked it up and Boy oh boy, do I love it. I contoured with it today. It is a cream, like bronzer thing, but it dries to a matte powder finish. It's just heavenly and lovely, and just the whole application of it. I'm just like, mm, 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 and blend, and it looks so good. And then it comes with a little highlighter side, which I've also been using. My next favorite is a blush, and this is by LA Colors, and it is their Mineral Blush, and this is in Sheer Bliss. Let's be honest, the packaging is so cheap, I can't, I can't even open it right now. See, if you can't even use your teeth, that's it, knows that. Oh, got it, Wee! Don't try that at home, kids. This is an amazing blush. LA Colors is a really cheap brand, but this is so gorgeously pigmented, it's actually insane. I, I just love the color of it. It's like this really nice kind of rosy, I call it like a rosy cinnamon fall color. I describe everything with food. <laughs> is that sad? Maybe. I think this looks gorgeous on the cheeks. It's kind of before the transition to the really darker berries for like winter and stuff like that. It's like the perfect fall blush. <sighs> I love you, you little nugget of cheap packaging. And finally for makeup, I have two lip products and these are kind of like complete and polar opposites, but it's like either I'm wearing this or I'm wearing this for the entire month of October. The first one is something that you guys have seen in a lot, a lot, a lot of videos. It was featured in my Running Lit for School outfit video as well as my Rain DIY head chain video. So I'll have both of those videos linked down below if you wanna check out this lip color in action. And this is the Hourglass Liquid Lipstick in Icon. And I don't, I can't say enough good things about this. I recommend it to everyone. I wanna try out more from like this actual like line of liquid lipsticks. You apply it and it goes on like an absolute dream and it dries to this matte finish and it looks like you were born with it. I was at an event and I was like eating and drinking and like being merry and talking stuff like that and someone finally ended and I was like, I have to ask you, what is your lip color? Because that has literally stayed on the entire night. I'm like, hourglass baby. And then the color itself is this very deep, dark, kind of really like vampy scarlet red, which is so pretty for the fall time. I just, if you're gonna get one dark lipstick for the fall, it needs to be this. And then in contrast to that, the very light color, which is the Buxom Lip Pencil in Sydney. The whole formulation of these Buxom Lip Pencils is amazing. I love this, it's like a darker nude, so it's really nice for the fall time, especially if you don't wanna look like corpse, like washed out nude, it gives you that really nice look. Plus, it's named Sydney, which is after my best friend. We'll pretend Buxom named it after her, not the fact that Sydney's a place and a name. So now on to hair care favorites. One of my favorite things for my hair recently has been the Joyco Purple Shampoo, and this is called the Color in Dirt in Violet. And I was recommended this when I went drastically, drastically blonder. I'm in the process of getting low lights and kind of putting a little more depth and darker color into my hair because it's really blonde right now, which is fine, but I think I'm getting over like the bleach blonde look. But this keeps my hair from looking brassy, and my hair can really lean towards looking very yellow and brassy because there's just a lot of warm undertones in my hair. And so using a purple shampoo can combat that like so well. I've used a lot of different kinds of purple shampoo, but this one is by far my favorite. It was recommended to me 
by Marissa Lays, one of my favorites here, and in real life too. It's literally just amazing. It's the best purple shampoo you can buy. So if you're blonde and you don't want your hair to look grassy or starting to look yellow or turn, this is the one you need. And my last hair favorite is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Sheer Solution. When I'm like not having to do something, I really like to give my hair a break because it's constantly being straightened and curled for different things that I'm doing. And so giving it a really nice break for me, I want it to still look good. I don't want to be like, man, YOLO, my hair can look like Cousin It. No, 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 no. I want it to look like not Cousin It. Like, a, like third Cousin It. So not that closely related. I love this. It's basically like this hair oil and you put in between 10 to 12 drops, like depending on how long your hair is. I usually do 10 to 11. And you run this through the ends of your hair and then you can do a little bit at the top, just whatever left over in your hair. And you run it when it's damp and it literally makes zero zero frizz in your hair. Your hair texture just minus all of the frizz that it had before and it's so nice. It's perfect for those days when you just don't want to do anything to your hair but you don't want to look like me at Thermopolis. This is what you need. So I have one skincare favorite of the month and my unfavorite of the month was my skin. My skin's been breaking out like absolutely crazy. I don't know what it is. I'm going to the dermatologist soon but it's just been worse than it's been in years and years and years and years, which is not fun. So I recently went through and started using this again, which is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. I love this. This is kind of like my holy grail if my skin's really breaking out and it's really bad. Basically what this is, is this little pinky stuff. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know what I'm putting on my face. Is that weird? Basically what you do is you wanna make sure that it's still separated so you've got like the liquid on top and then the bottom is this pink little cream and you dip a Q-tip in it and then you dot it on your face. You look like absolutely ridiculous with all these pink dots on your face, but I mean, you can buy it from Nordstrom's. It is on the pricier side, but I do find it really works if you're suffering from some pretty bad acne. My favorite fashion item for the month of October were my little black booties from Steve Madden. Honestly, since the video where I hauled them that will be linked down below, I have not worn another pair of shoes. I wear these virtually every day. They're so comfortable and they're just so simple and so cute. I wear them with nice dresses, I wear them with jeans, I wear them with leggings. I honestly would even wear them with sweatpants. I probably wouldn't, but you get the point. And I'm on the hunt for kind of more of a camel, very true brown version of these. So let me know if you know where those would be. I'm just, I love these. So that is it for the girly beauty fashion -y favorites for this month. So let's move on to the random stuff because we all know that's why you keep watching. My first random favorite is my favorite tea and my favorite mug of the month. So as you guys know, I was in Minnesota and caribou coffee is, to put it lightly, my crack. I picked up this mug that has a little caribou on it that says caribou coffee to remind me of how much I love caribou coffee and how much I wish it was in California. And my favorite tea of the month is the Harvest Blend Herbal Tea from Trader Joe's. And Trader Joe's is finally bringing out their autumn teas, which makes me so happy and so excited because that means we're one step closer to Christmas teas. Ugh. I love this. It's so yummy. It just smells like apple, cinnamon. It's just delicious. It smells and tastes like autumn in a cup. Speaking of things that smell like autumn, my favorite candle of the month has been, oh, appropriately named Autumn. And usually my favorite fall candle is leaves, and let's be real, leaves still is my all-time favorite candle by Bath & Body Works. But one of my subscribers actually gave me an autumn candle at my meetup, and it smells so good. And I'm wondering where in the world have I been this season that I hadn't smelled this. It smells, what would you expect a really hot boy to smell like in the autumn months? Like if a man was cooking you apple cider and pumpkin pie, he would smell like that candle. Not that I have any personal experience with that. So my food favorite of the month has been frozen grapes. I discovered that the grapes that I bought from Whole Foods were kind of squishy and nothing is grosser than a squishy grape. Like you want your grapes to pop. You want them to have a little bite to them, like a little sass. No, these nuggets had no sass. They were squishy, they were limp, and they reminded me of nasty things. So I was like, hey, why don't I pop these in the freezer? And mind blown. Literally my mind was splattered all over the wall. If we're gonna be real, this is the sixth thing of grapes that I've had this past month. And by six, I probably mean 12. Now my favorite book of the month comes on recommendation from you guys. So I just want to say a huge thank you guys because, well, like I was saying, this book was recommended to me by you guys in some of my past videos. And I want to say thank you because I've compiled this huge list of books on Goodreads. So if you haven't followed me on Goodreads yet, definitely make sure to follow me down below and you can like give me recommendations and stuff like that. And someone recommended that I read the book Matched. And oh my, I loved it. You guys know, 
post-apocalyptic, dystopia kind of things are my favorite kind of books to read right now. Aren't they? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. It's kind of in the same realm as like The Hunger Games and Divergent and stuff like that. It's really good. It's a freaking one that you're like, oh my gosh, what's happening next, what's happening next, what's happening next. Because I definitely listened to it on the airplane and I was gasping like I was crazy. I was like, <laughs> pretty sure the man next to me was like, lady, do you need help? But I was like, fuck. I get to invest in these things. I listened to this book on audible.com. You guys know I mention Audible every single time in my favorites video because it is my favorite way to really get in my book reading for the month because I've been so incredibly busy. It's hard to sit down with the book and just kind of leaf through it, which is a great experience, but if you're pressed for time, or maybe reading isn't your favorite activity, my dad's dyslexic and I know he really likes using audiobooks. So, if you guys wanna check out it down below on Audible, I'll have it linked below. If you, that is not your kind of book, or you've already run it, there are hundreds of thousands of titles there. Make sure you use the code audible.com slash Megan and you can get a 30 day free trial, which means you get a free book. Who doesn't love free things? Raise your hand if you like free things. I can like free things. My favorite TV show of the month was Rain. <laughs> As you guys know, I partnered with the CW to do a video on Rain, which meant that I got to see the premiere before all y'all did. <laughs> Sorry, that was sassy. I, that was uncalled for. I love this show. Anything the CW produces is basically pure gold to me. I love the combination of shows that are like, oh, romance and fun stuff like that and then like the dark twisted evil scary stuff. Somebody got killed in the pilot episode and I was like hooked watching it. It's like Criminal Minds meets Gossip Girl but then you put it back in like the olden days. It's amazing. And if you did see the premiere and you liked it as much as I did and you thought Queen Mary's crown little thing was so cute, I actually did a DIY head chain tutorial on how to get one similar so make sure to check that out because that was fun and you can just walk around being like, I am Mary, queen of Scots, or I am Megan, queen of my apartment. <sighs> yes, I am. And finally, my favorite YouTube video of the month. The month of October with Jimmy Tatro. We actually did a video on his channel that I was in and it is called Table Manners and it's a sketch. It was really fun. All the guys in it are super chill and super nice and I had a great time filming it. It was really cool. So definitely make sure to check out that down below. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna know what you guys are going to be for Halloween and what is your Halloween plan? Do you guys still trick or treat? What is the age that is appropriate to stop trick or treating at? I was always a tall kid so even at like 10, people were like, what are you doing out? I was like, I'm 10, me. Definitely make sure to like this video if you enjoyed, as well as leaving some comments down below of what other fall video requests you guys would like to see, or video requests in general, and I'll talk to you guys later. <gasps> Bye. Namaste. Now let's eat some frozen grapes. Like, look at this, all frosty little nugget. My favorite word of the month is nugget. My favorite word of life is nugget. Love it. Love it. Yeah, I'm